In this video, I'm going to show you how to install an additional domain controller. In a network, if you have uh, multiple domain controllers, it provides you the redundancy. Okay, so now I already have a domain controller in KVM1. Okay, so my plan is to install an additional domain controller on another machine that is actually uh, that is already a server. I mean, server machine without any AD installation is there. Okay. So now I'm going to KVM2 with a domain credential. So normally what we used to do for instead of installing the domain controller, I'm following the same procedure. So first I need to install Active Directory Domain Services. Once the installation is over, I must promote this to a domain controller. So it, it presents me with three options. The first option is add a domain controller to an existing domain. Yeah. Currently my requirement is to add a domain controller to an existing domain. So I'll be using the first option. Yes, the first option and the domain is abc.local already there is a no domain okay and the credential must be the domain controllers act admin administrator and then here have presented with two options one is dns name and global catalog already i have a dns server in kvm1 if you want to go with kvm2 an additional domain control and dns also will be created So now the directory service restoration password. And now click next and uh, synchronization with uh, Replica it will happen only with my KVM1. If you drop down, you can see KVM1. Otherwise, you can go with the any domain controller option. Okay, so now I choose KVM1 and the database and other things are the default locations and i'm giving next and uh, let me wait until it get finished
After the restart, the machine came back. Now let me see the users list in KVM2. Okay. So as you can see, KVM1 and KVM2 are actually on the side by side. You can see the information on KVM1. And now I'm opening this Active Directory users and computers. There you can see whether the information are same or not. Because KVM2 is an additional domain controller, it must have the same copy of KVM1 AD database. As you can see, the same user is available there. Now let me create a user account in KVM1. The username is John and you can see there is no other account available. Yeah, once I finish, let me refresh KVM2, you can see John appeared here. Okay, that is how it works. Uh, thanks for watching and see you in next video. Please comment if you have any questions.